Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam, and if you love luxury fashion, then you're definitely going to love my channel. So make sure you like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram below for all of the latest updates. And today, let's get right into it. In today's video, we'll be going to Hermes and do a cute little shopping vlog. Now, originally, I was supposed to do an entire pet collection video that will be coming on Friday, but it's such a long video because they have so many stuff for our pets that I did have to split it into two separate parts. However, I do have some shopping footage at Hermes, so without any further ado, let's check out some Birkins, Kellys, and Crocodile, Ostrich, and Togo leather. So first for Hermes, I originally went here to start with the pet collection. So in this little case right here, we can see that we do see some of the pet items and some items that are meant for the horse. Like right here, we have some kind of glycerin soap. I believe that is meant for a horse. But then there's also a polo that your horse can wear. So that's so super cute as well. Scrolling down though, we can see that they do have the cute little frisbee for the dog. And I'm not too sure what this gray case is over here, but that actually does look like a really cute gray case just to have. But then over here, you know, the horse brush just looks cute. I think that's like a whip. I'm not entirely sure. And then I have to say, when it comes to the collars for the animals, they are really thick. The leather one is really nice and soft. However, I can't say that the collars themselves are not worth the price. I just think they're thick. I don't think they're necessarily too comfortable. If you were to get one, I think this type up here is much better because not only is it a collar, but you have this cute fabric piece to it too. So it's so cute. It makes it like a cute little ascot. So this one right here, 1,000 percent worth it and the leather is nice and soft on it but for the other ones I wouldn't really recommend. We now have this bag and the color of the bag I really do like it. I do wish that it was in a dark navy like the dark red and the dark navy. That would be really cute instead of the brown. However I think this is meant to be like a picnic bag but you could actually fit a dog in it too. So this has so many pockets. I actually really do like this one. I do think it is really really cool especially really functional as well. And even if you did have a dog on the inside of it, the inner lining of it does come out, so it would be really easy to clean. So this bag, I'm not gonna lie, I actually really, really do like it. When it comes to their bags, it is more on the affordable side. I think it's like 2000 I will have the price up on screen if I can find it. They do also make this in a dark blue as well. And when I was editing this footage, I realized some of the clothing, I actually do want to go ahead and try that sweater with the H on the back of the elbows. That is such a cute sweater, so I will be going back for that. But as for the bag, it is a good size. I do like it, and they do make it in a dark navy as well, kind of like the same color as my t-shirt. So this one, I would approve it. For their bowl, now this is technically meant for a horse, but you could really just use it for anything, especially decoration. I'm not gonna lie, this I actually did add it to my wish list because I just think it's so cute and for decoration, I do want it. This right here is so legendary because it is a horse saddle. So if you don't know Hermes, they do make a lot of things, especially for horses and the equestrian line. And I will be getting a lot more into that in a future video. However, up here we do see the reversible dog blanket. And it actually is a lot bigger than I thought. Down here, you can see that it's actually rolled up and it does have a cute handle to take it on the go. So I really do love that fact. In the back, you can see the dog bowl as well. The dog bowl is my personal favorite thing from their pet collection. I actually will get into that during the actual pet collection video. The bowl, I actually really do love it and you'll find out why. As for the dog carrier, I do have to say that this is the most breathable dog carrier that I have seen in the designer collection so far. This one has so many cool holes and honestly, I can just imagine your cute little cat Cat popping its cute little paw out of it and it's just so adorable. Now personally for the inside of it I am not a fan of the orange. I do wish it was a different color but I also have to say that when it comes to this bag it is the most boring one out of all of the designer collections I have reviewed. So this one, I wouldn't really too much recommend it. A few more items here for the pet section before I get into some of the homeware and the clothing pieces. I must admit that the giant dog bed, I do recommend it and I do approve it because it's just like that cool horse bowl and the wood on it, it is just so cool. Like you have to see it in person to really understand why it is worth it. But once you see it in person, you really will understand. Now for the Hermes China, personally, I love their Hermes China. This face right here, I did add it to my wish list because I actually have a statue that actually does match this so it would be so perfect a cool glimpse of the homeware section i will say that the pillow the black and gray one in the background i will be getting that very soon i'm actually really excited because it is so soft in person but for their tableware it is so cute 
I actually once did put a giant plate on hold. It was literally half the size of this table, but it was the same exact print. Now the plane itself was ginormous and it was like $3,000, but honestly, totally worth it. It is like such a cool display piece and honestly, I totally loved it. Now for what you have all been waiting for, the Birkins and the Kellys. Now, right away, I do have to say that the Kelly to the left is a Kelly 35, I believe, or a 30. And I love it. It is so perfect. The black and the silver on it, 1000%. This is the bag that I would get. Right here, we do have, I think it's a size 25 in Crocodile because there is a bigger one on the other side. And the Crocodile one, it is so cool. Now, the details of it in person is honestly like astronomical and the people working there thought I was just so cute because my jaw did drop and it was just so adorable now next time I go I'm actually gonna ask to actually like see it hold it make sure I want it and make sure it's like 35 it would be the good size because this Togo Birkin right here is a size 35 and it is honestly perfect but I don't like Togo leather because you can see like the veins of the animals I really want Epson pretty much like anything other than Togo I will accept However, you know, I don't want to be too picky with them, but when it comes to this bag, I'm not sure what this bag is. If you know it, comment it down below. Tell me if it's a good bag or not. But then over here, we do see, no, okay, now, now this is the 25 size Birkin, and this is so cute. Look at it. It might even be a 20. I'm not too good on the sizes, but this is so cute. Look at that color. That color is so unique. Now, normally I would never get this color. But the fact that this is crocodile and this just looks so juicy. This looks like an orange. If an orange was a bag, this would be the bag. So I'm not gonna lie. This makes me like yum, yum, yum. I want it. So I, I want that. Again, for my favorite, again, I think this is in Togo leather. So I wish it wasn't in Togo leather, but it is so perfect. This is the one that I would get. This is absolutely like phenomenal, amazing. I love it so much. And honestly, like, wow, I just cannot recommend the bag enough. Now, we do have another crocodile. I'm not even going to attempt the size of it because I think I'll get confused. But again, crocodile Birkin, so cute. I think it's like $20,000 in the store, but they usually sell for like $80,000 and like $60,000. Crazy investment. And then up here, we have this crazy cool Birkin. And this is in the color like orange. And this is an ostrich. That's why you can see the cute little pebbles on it. Now, personally, I don't really like ostrich because I don't like the pebbles. It kind of like turns me off to the bag, but I would definitely rather have that orange crocodile one. And uh, that would be so cool. I made a small stop at Louis Vuitton and I did end up seeing this super cute bear. Now, I did try to open him because I thought he was a bag, but it turns out he is just like a leather bear. So kind of like a stuffed animal, but just like very hard and just leathery, but still cute. We went to Tiffany's and I seen the cutest little stuffed animal. Look at him. Does he not look like the Little Mermaid? Tiffany's meets the Little Mermaid. I totally love that. Then we have this gorgeous ruby right here. Now, I'm not too sure if it's a ruby or a diamond, but either way, it is just phenomenal and gorgeous. I loved that. I did end up going to Dior as well to check out their pet section. As you know, I do have a Dior video where I do the dog collars and all of the pet collection from Dior. But I have to say that the collar in person it is very thick. It's heavy. It's definitely not meant for a cat. So this is only dog approved. And I'd say like medium dog. I think it would be uncomfortable for a small dog. I finally have an actual Saint Laurent boutique. And I did see the famous bag that everybody loves. Now this bag, I'm not going to lie. I thought it was huge and I didn't really get it. But after I seen it, it's not as big as you think, actually. Like, it's actually a really good size. And it even folds in half, too. So you can do so many cool things with this bag that I had no idea. And I'm not gonna lie, this bag, I fell in love with it. I get it. I understand it. It is $4,000. It is overpriced, in my opinion. Because even Prada would have theirs at, like, 3000 so comparing it to Prada, I think they could lower the price a little bit, but it is such a good bag and I, I want it. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Tell me what was your favorite Birkin or Kelly in this video. I will have the entire Hermes pet collection video coming this Friday. We will talk about the dogs and even some of the horse stuff as well. Very, very exciting video. But again, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and have a great day. Au revoir.